37-year-old Mary Liza was taken into custody in September in California on an OCSO homicide warrant. That happened because investigators with a never-give-up attitude took another close look at the 2002 murder of two-year-old Marcelina Liza and spotted something. Why don't we bring this back to the medical examiner and see what they think because we think maybe there was a mistake made, so maybe basically put a fresh set of eyes on it. After a thorough reevaluation, the ME's office agreed. The death had always been ruled a homicide, but the cause was changed to shaken baby syndrome. Well, based on that, based on the evidence that we had and new interviews, um, we were able to submit a arrest warrant for felony murder on the mother. I mean, this occurred in 2002, so I would think, I mean, almost 20 years ago, uh, she was probably very surprised when we showed up to pick her up for the death of her daughter. Despite the intense workload of OCSO investigators, sitting down as a group and individually to take a fresh look at dusty case files is a priority, and their unrelenting search for justice for the victims has been paying off. It's all about the dedication of those individuals over there in CID. They're already overworked overwhelmed with the current crimes, not just the cold cases, but the current crimes that we continually receive on the daily basis. And, but it, they're passionate about working their cold cases. And, and even if they can't solve anything for the moment, they still go in there and actively see if there's anything they can turn over, any crumb, any stone that they could turn over that could remotely result in just rejuvenating that case a little bit further. So this year alone, we've made uh, four arrests on cold case homicides. New witness testimony and DNA solved the February 1981 death of Burt Gross off Interstate 10 near Crestview. Suspect Gary Ruff of New York passed away from natural causes, however, shortly before the arrest warrant was activated. New DNA evidence was obtained in a 1983 sexual battery in Florosa based on the state of Florida placing a priority on sexual assault cases. Suspect Richard Lane of Nevada was identified and probable cause was established to make an arrest. OCSO investigators presented new information to the state attorney's office to show that the stabbing death of Eric Roberts on Okaloosa Island in April 2007 was not self-defense. DNA evidence solidified 40-year-old Cornelius Lee of Fort Walton Beach as the suspect. New witness testimony and latent fingerprint comparisons obtained in the 2005 murder of Luis Gonzalez on Okaloosa Island recently led to the arrest of four suspects in the drug-related shooting. And now, the arrest of Mary Liza for the murder of two-year-old Marcelina in 2002 is the latest cold case success. Well, you get so intimately involved in a case, especially a homicide case, or any case really where someone suffers uh, at the hands of another. And, and these investigators, they put themselves in the family's position as, as, as far as their passion and their commitment to the case. I've seen investigators crying over cases with family members because of the emotional impact and, and the hours and sometimes years that it takes to bring justice to a family. Liza remains in a California jail cell pending extradition back to Okaloosa County.